Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back at your Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Today, we hit 400,000 subscribers, y'all. I cannot thank each and every single one of you enough. So today, I'm giving away a bunch of stuff and I'm finally giving you a shop tour. So first, let's hit the Wayback Machine and show where this all started. Now, seven years ago, I had a repair shop and I was a mechanic, but I was a chick. So we came up with the name Chickanic. And at the time, I thought it would be super funny to start a YouTube channel, letting y'all know about the interactions I have with my customers. Cause sometimes it's a little crazy. So sitting at work one day by myself, a little bored, I made this. Hello, what can I do for you? Yeah, I need to speak with a mechanic. Okay, what can I do for you? Y'all fixed my chainsaw. But now it won't start. Well, when was the last time that it ran? Well, it was running good until I ran out of gas. And then I filled it up and then it wouldn't start. Well, it would start and die. So it was running good, then it ran out of gas, and then you filled it up and then it would only start and die. Do you think it could be your gas? I think it has no fire. So yeah, it was sort of funny, but at the same time, it was mean. And I didn't want to be mean. And I thought about it and I thought, I have thousands of customers come in every single year asking me questions and everything was pretty repetitious and I'd gotten really good at teaching people how to fix their own stuff over the counter. So why don't I make videos just teaching people how to fix their own stuff? So in the beginning of 2020, from January till March, I made five videos. And what I found out really quick is that it's really hard to film while you're at work. I had phone ringing all day long. I had customers coming in all day long. And I found out really quick I was very embarrassed to film in front of anybody. So most of those videos I filmed outside in my yard. So of course I had no subscribers. I was begging my Facebook friends to watch my videos. And by March, none of that mattered because you know what happened in March 2020. Things got a little crazy. And while everybody else was stuck at home, I was still able to work because I was one of those essential businesses and we were able to stay open. And what did everybody do? They decided to grab all that equipment that they've had sitting around their yard for the last 10 years and get it fixed so they could do yard work or pressure wash or cut a tree or bush hog. I was slammed and I didn't make any more videos. I gave up on doing YouTube. Then the next year in May of 2021, I look and see one of my videos is taken off. And I decide I'm going to start making videos at least every single week. And ever since then, I have made one to two videos every single week since May of 2021. Now, at the same time that I've been making all these YouTube videos, I had a repair shop full time all year long where we would see over 2000 pieces of equipment and I would fix every single two stroke that came through that door. Now, my husband, he'd work on all the big stuff. And unfortunately, a couple years ago, he broke. So we had to make some decisions. We wanted to scale it down a little bit. First, we were renting the location we were at. I know everybody's like, why don't you fix the front of your building? Well, the fact was it wasn't our building. It was not worth putting any money into. The building had been there for like 80 years. It had been a lawnmower repair shop for about 30 years before we acquired it. So there was just no reason to put any money into a building when you know eventually it's gonna be tore down. So I've been on a mission to get to a point where Ron can get his hip fixed and we can open up another shop at our house without the storefront. And that's what we did. So last year we built a 40 by 50 shop out on our property. And by the end of September, we had closed our storefront. Now, while we were doing this, I was still making videos and showing you this huge mess that we had because we brought every single thing from our old shop to our new shop. And that was 40 years of lawnmower repair shop stuff. So I've been a little hesitant to show you all my shop because you know, it was a mess. And of course I wanted everything to be perfect and clean so I could show you my majestic new shop. But it's never gonna be that way, cause we're working. Every week we're still getting in tons of mowers, fresh washers, trimmers, chainsaws to repair. So as much as I would love to show you a spotless shop, it just ain't gonna happen. But I'm pretty proud of where it's at. So let me give you the grand tour. So here is our 40 by 50 shop. And yeah, we don't have a driveway yet, but I firmly believe in having money for something before you buy it now until, you know, at, when I'm at this point in my life. So I'm just not there yet, guys. After buying this building, there's, there's steps to it. And the first thing I had to do was build a beautiful loft to store all my parts. So when you come in the shop, the uh, auto repair section is over here to the left. This is Ron's area. Sorry about the pollen all over the car. It's crazy here right now. 
So he's over here doing whatever to his heads and we're figuring out storage because yeah, he's got lots and lots of stuff. We're doing all the riders here in the center and in the back section. I've got Alex set up over here. Don't mind our messy little office area. <laughs> it's as good as we can do at the moment. I am going to be getting a lift for Alex for all the generators and push mowers and stuff like that. I just haven't found one that I really like yet. They're either too small or they're, they're not the kind that I, I want. So now before this place looked like this, we had stuff everywhere. There was you know, a trail to walk through. We had nowhere to put it because we had no loft built yet. Now, a few weeks ago, we had the loft built, and yeah, that was fun. We got all the parts moved upstairs, put together a ton of shelving. I still have more boxes of shelving to put together here, and I got a couple more upstairs. I'll show you that in just a bit. But, did get my blade and belt section all organized. I got all my AYP, my MTD, John Deere, Snapper, Murray, miscellaneous belts all of my blades in order from you know in alphabetical order blade bolts and nuts and stuff like that and this is my filming area guys this is where i i teach my stuff you don't see all my junk that's sitting in the floor normally but i've got trimmers up there hanging waiting to be repaired bars for chainsaws and is even though it looks like a storefront i'm not a storefront but it was sort of hard for me to store all this stuff and not make it look like a storefront <laughs> so this is you know if, if i do have any of my customers that you know i let a lot of commercial people come i don't really let strangers come to my house but i do let my commercial guys come in and they need all this stuff the trimmer heads trimmer line and oil i'm going to be putting all of my air filters briggs and kohler and mtd and stuff like that that i sell a lot of here Still got to get my echo sign up on the wall, but we just got done uh, building this wall a couple weeks ago because I'm going to set my son up here in this uh, area so he can do all the rider services right here. I did set up this Craftsman toolbox as more of a part shelf because I don't know, I have my, I have old trusty over here and, and you know when you've got a toolbox that just works and you love the feel of the drawers, they're worn out perfectly. I mean, it's sort of hard to keep tools in a brand new toolbox. I don't know what it is. I, I, what do y'all feel? So I'm keeping fast moving parts in all of these drawers. This is my spark plugs. I've got, you know, clips and handles and grommets and uh, needles. Um, so I need to put, actually, these are for uh, my batteries and battery cable ends would probably do better in my battery cable drawer with my solenoids. I've got miscellaneous caps. So those are all the echo caps, steel caps and spools, um, eyelets, springs, all that kind of stuff. And you know, the bottom two drawers guys, they're always catch all. You, you don't show those ones. Miscellaneous pull rope and air filters. I've got my wheel um, drawer. This has like wheel washers and valve stems and wheel bushings. And more miscellaneous, you know, fuel shut off. You know, you guys need them. Everybody get you a fuel shut off. This is just sort of miscellaneous ignition keys, some hose clamps, uh, stuff like that. We go up here. This is my specialty tool section. I've got, you know, my Top Don thermal imaging camera. This thing is so amazing. If you have not checked one of those out, I'll leave them in the description box below along with all of this stuff. But uh, my Depth Tech endoscope, my compression tester, my spark tester. And that's my other Depth Tech. And I do love, you know, having my tools like this where I can find them because these ones, um, you know, you don't want to go checking through every single one. So it's much easier when they're laid out here. Some of my wear -a tools. I love all the wear -a tools. And my pliers, my Nipex, Kinpex, however you say it. Y'all sent me these. I love them. <laughs> the Fat Max, I love them too. Um, these are my Klein tools that my daddy gave me who passed away. So these are, these are sentimental to me. And I think I'm saving some drawers. You know, you always save your top drawers for that special stuff. Oh, this is just miscellaneous stuff. I got some files and stuff to sell if a customer wants any. So, yeah, that's it in there. Do I want to lift this? I don't know if I want to or not. Oh, yeah. I got fuel line, backup spark plugs, a uh, flag that I need to give to the Boy Scouts. 
and some fuel line kits and miscellaneous stuff, you know, uh, bar nuts and, and I don't know, weird stuff up in here, and then a bunch of carburetor pieces. So we'll just close that on up. And then I've got all this stuff that I'm giving away, guys. We'll tell you about that in just a minute so y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to have lots of winners. And then I do not want to stop without saying a special hey to everybody that's given me a sticker. Mix Mowers, I would not have been where I'm at without Mix Mowers. He's the one who let me get on his podcast and talk with all of his buddies and get to know the entire community. I can't thank Mix Mowers enough. He is my dude. And the Mower Medic, he is one of my really good friends also. I mean, everybody on here is, is super cool, but those two guys right there are definitely dear to my heart. Now, if we come over here, had to find a place for the tire changer. I hate that it's like right in the middle of the floor, but what are you gonna do? You gotta have it somewhere where you can use it, right? Hey, come over here to the sharpening section. I did have a bird get stuck in here, so I left some seed and water out, but it got out thankfully. So I got my uh, Oregon belt blade sharpener here. This thing is awesome. I made a video on it. I mean, you can sharpen a blade totally that's been totally dull in like two minutes. You can get the entire blade done. Now, if you're sharpening blades at home, still get your grinder out. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We, as many blades as we go through, this thing, I think it's the Burr King or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it is by Oregon and is, it paid for itself in a couple weeks for as many blades as we go through. But this thing is seriously, it's like 1400 bucks or something like that, but it's awesome. And then we're getting all this set up. I didn't have anywhere to store my stuff, so it'll fit there for right now. Uh, my chain stuff, I still gotta get shelves and stuff like that, but to make all my chainsaw chains. Got my scale out here, and it's just more belts for the sander, but this is where I make all my chains now. I get rolls of 100 foot at a time. And let's go upstairs. Now it does look scary, guys. I know, I do not have a rail yet. I'm using the uh, shelves as a as a wall right now. Eventually, I'm probably gonna wall this whole thing in. So I don't wanna do it yet, but I do need to get a handrail. That's, that's sort of scary, so. <laughs> and I know y'all are gonna be irritated that I do have such a mess up here. Still stuff in the floor, but I just gotta have more shelves. I got another one I'm putting up here. And I can't do much in this back left corner because I'm gonna have to pull it all out because my AC guy is gonna be putting the stuff up here, so. Once again, at a standstill. Now, on these shelves, I've got lots of steel parts. It goes into my Kohler stuff. Yeah, I know. I could have organized all this better. A little bit of MTD stuff. Just miscellaneous boxes of stuff. Two shelves full of Brig stuff. I've got, you know, still totes full of this. I think that's Kawasaki. This is Honda parts here. I've got all my spindles, some tires. All these are fast moving parts that, that we really needed available. To, other than that, a lot of stuff is still in bins. Okay. And <laughs> I know it's a mess. I'll get there soon. Like I said, I wanted everything to be perfect, but I might never get there. So yeah, my shop went from this to full of this. To this and i'm sorry that i made y'all wait i really wanted it to be perfect but you know what sometimes things just aren't perfect and that's okay now a little disclaimer before i give all this stuff away if you are contacted by me you need to click you'll see chicanic with a little check mark at the end of it you'll need to click on my name, Chicanic, and make sure that it goes to my page with 400,000 subscribers. If you go to a page and there is no content on it, that is a scammer who has stolen my profile picture and is trying to rob you. So do not talk to them. Do not email them. I do not have Telegram. I do not have WhatsApp. I don't have any of that. I'm going to message you on your comment, letting you know that you won the prize, and then you'll be able to email me back so I can get all your information and send you a prize. You do not send me no money. Don't send anybody money. Stop doing that, guys. So let's go announce some winners. Now I am ready to give some stuff away, but I have to be honest. Now, when it came to the winners, everything was random. I just went through the comments on my last three videos. I stopped, I picked somebody, and they are the winner. 
but there was one. There was one that I chose. And I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> I don't know why I stopped on his comment. It was on my last Eclipse video. His name was I Love Machines 225 sort of caught my eye. And his comment was so close to 400,000 subscribers. And I was like, oh, well, thank you for noticing. And I clicked on his page. And then I find out it's a kid who has to be like 13 or 14 years old who works on small engines in his shop and is doing his tour of his shop that he's setting up and he's so proud of it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I mean, that's just like me doing it right now. <laughs> so I, I picked him to win the first prize, the Depths Tech DS260. So congratulations. I've already sent the information to him to tell him how to get a hold of me so I can ship it to him and keep on, dude. I'm very proud of you. Now for everybody else, we're going completely random. I pulled your names and wrote them down and put them all in this hat and I'm just gonna draw. So we're gonna draw for all the caps first. Uh, I think I've got six of them here. Then we're gonna do the depth text and then we're gonna do the grand prize echo unit. So stick around. So let, let, let's see who's first. Okay. <laughs> and the first winner of a hat is Independent thinker. If you are a handle of independent thinker, you want a hat. All right, let's see. Another hat goes to Fuzzy Kitty. All right, Fuzzy Kitty wins. And let's see. Next hat goes to Douglas Siemens, 4245. You are a winner. The next hat goes to Tim Moore, 3386, congratulations. And let's see, let's squish them around again a little bit. The next uh, hat winner is Peter Wilson. And one more hat, that makes six, I think. Yeah, six hats. Ooh. <laughs> User RW3L03UZLZ, you are a winner of a hat. And I will just randomly ship you a hat. I'm not sure if you're gonna get a Echo hat or a Husqvarna hat or a Vanguard hat, but congratulations on winning. Let's get to these depths techs. Before I give away this Depths Tech DS360, guys, if you do not win today, don't worry. I give stuff away every time I hit 100,000 subscribers. So stick around because you might be a winner next time. Also, anything that you see today that you might want, I leave links to them all in the description box below or check out my Amazon store. All right. The winner of the Depths Tech 360. Ooh, pretty sweet. I'm so excited giving all this stuff away. Let's see who we got here. Xena, the quad cam biker. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Next, we have the Depths Tech DS580 with super cool cord, five inch display screen. This thing's awesome. Comes in this fancy carrying case. Okay, mine didn't. <laughs> so let's pick a winner. Let's see what we got here. Bud the Drummer. Oh yeah, buddy. I think he's a member too. So that's pretty cool. Congratulations to Bud the Drummer. You won the Depths Tech DS580. Which leaves one name in my hat for the grand prize. Now, when I closed down my storefront, I got stuck with a lot of equipment because they weren't in boxes and you can't just return stuff unless it's got its box. So these were all my display models that I had out front. So I decided every time I do something like this, I'm going to give one away. So instead of just picking one and giving it to somebody when they might already have a brand new trimmer or a brand new chainsaw or blower, I decided I'm going to give them the choice of any one they want. So I got the winner right here. And it is Parts Dave 8943. Congratulations, Parts Dave. You are the grand finale winner. <laughs> so guys, thank you all so much. Oh, 400,000 of you guys. Wow, I am just in awe. I cannot thank each and every single one of you enough for the support that you show me. My members, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me. So guys, thanks again. Hopefully my videos will keep saving you a ton of time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash chicanic. Find me on Instagram at the real chicanic or find me at chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.